Hey cruisers, it's Sherry with Cruise Tips TV with tips on what type of clothing to pack for a cruise to Alaska. Packing for Alaska can be a little tricky because in our experience, the weather can vary from about 40 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the day. It can be sunny and warm one minute and drizzly and cold the next. So what to do? Well, in Alaska, it's all about layers. We're going to break this down into four categories. What to wear on the ship, walking around in port, on adventure tours, and lastly, on glacier viewing days. Let's start with what to wear on the ship. Daytime wear on your Alaskan cruise can be casual and comfortable. Pack your favorite non-slip athletic or walking shoes and plan for mild breezy weather. So jeans, sweaters, and t-shirts will be perfect for most daytime activities on board. Depending on your ship, the attire for most evenings on board will likely be resort wear with a few elegant or formal evenings sprinkled in. For women, I recommend packing a sweater or a warm wrap or shawl to layer over your evening wear. So how about port days? Generally speaking, if you're walking around near the port, jeans, comfortable walking shoes, a short sleeved shirt, a sweatshirt or sweater, and a light rain jacket are just right. Again, this may seem like a lot of layers, but trust me, you want to be prepared for the temperature variations. Now, on active or adventure type tours, you're going to want to dress a lot like you do in port, but you might consider leaving your jeans on the ship. If there's any chance you'll get wet, focus on synthetic or athletic type pants and a nice waterproof shoe. If you're going to be on the water, plan for some extra gear like a fleece jacket, a warm hat, and some warm socks. Just remember, moisture wicking fabric is best on those adventure days. Lastly, let's talk about what to wear if your ship is visiting a glacial area during your cruise. Glacier days are gorgeous, however, they tend to be much more chilly than a normal sea day. You will feel the temperature drop as you enter the passage and progress toward the icy glacial area, and often your ship will visit the glacier in the early morning hours. Burr. So we recommend you get out on deck with a warm winter hat and maybe even a pair of gloves to keep your hands warm. But often, Glacier Day is the only day that a hat and gloves are needed, and having them makes it easier to stay on deck and enjoy the glacier for as long as possible. You can soak in the majesty of the glacial passage. Of course, if you forget your cozy clothes, don't worry, your cruise line will likely offer a hot cocoa on deck or clothing for purchase in their gift shop. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to leave your Alaska packing tips in the comments below. We hope this was helpful, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey, click me to subscribe. In the beginning, they said, Abre sus ojos. Maybe. What was it called? It's really bugging me, and I don't remember. Really? Yeah, okay. Oh. Ah, it's the one where it's, it's like... Um, something, sky, vanilla sky. Vanilla sky. Dang it. Three, two.